Today I'm going to show you a very simple customization on GNOME and this is kind of inspired by my last customization on Niri. It is a window manager and I tried something very similar over there so I thought why not try to recreate that in GNOME since the process is very simple and by the end of this video your desktop is basically going to look like this. We have got GTK4 theme over here and uh, it is using all uh, stock Gruffbox theme and we are also running it on the latest version of GNOME that is GNOME 49 and Fedora 43 which is also the latest version of Fedora and there is also a very simple con key in the desktop. So let us get started. And before I start there are GUI theme installers available for this theme. You can download the complete installer from the description below and apply the theme from there. It makes everything very simple. It will handle everything for you including the modified GTK theme, icon pack, con key, extensions and more. Alternatively you can also get the config.zip file which you can apply through evolve and skip a major portion of this video. The first step is to apply the wallpaper. Now it is a very simple process. I don't really think I should be showing you this but yeah you can download the wallpaper from the description below i guess it is from unsplash so yeah now the next one is very important that is evolve you need to download and install it just download the package from the description below make sure to get the version 190 of evolve or the build number 190 plus uh, in order to get all the latest features let's head over to the theme store and search for Gruffbox. okay here we have Gruffbox uh, gtk and we're going to try advanced installation. As you can see, it starts checking for the compatibility and it will take some time. So make sure to stay patient. And there you go. Now uh, it is compatible, so you can set the destination. We don't really need that. We don't need name, theme. Okay, color. Color, okay, we'll go for light, dark, everything. Let's go for the orange version. And size, we don't need to change. Libert Vita not needed. That's all download and install now here you will be able to see the entirety of the repository or or the installation information as you can see we need this gtk marine engine just run this in the terminal for fedora or if you have a different distro you can also run that according to your requirement install it before you start and that's all just hit install now i already have those installed so i did not really show you again but let's wait and it is done just switch over to icons and back to themes and you will be able to notice the Gruffbox orange dark theme available. Apply and done. Now as you can see the top bar also changes the theme. Now this won't be available by default so you need to install an extension for that. Just head over to extension and uh, go to extension store uh, and the first one you will see over here is the user themes extension. Just click it and hit install I'm just going to uninstall for you and install and it is done now we also need an icon pack we are going to go for the same growth box icon pack now as you can see the results from the previous search are still present but they are GTK themed not icon pack so it's for growth box and we are going to go for the plus a growth box plus icon pack uh, we don't need advanced installation now uh, it is showing this sign because there is some mention of KDE. Yeah, so it is not sure if it is for GNOME, but it is for GNOME, don't worry. Download again. Now it will show you download, not download again. So let, let's download it again completely and start over. That's all done. Just wait because this is going to take some time. Icon packs are not really small. In the meantime, we can open the file manager, head over to dot themes from the home directory and we need this one that is Gruffbox orange dark here we need to make some changes in the gnome shell basically open up gnome shell and search for top bar top bar and we are going to make some changes over here for example the background color is set to this let's make it completely transparent to start with now i'm going to keep evolve at my side oh it is installed let's just relaunch the app head over to the icons tab and click install not install click on the icon pack that is Gruffbox plus dark okay I'm also going to show you another thing that is from style you can select the light theme and dark theme for example the light theme is currently selected to Everforest light we're going to change it it is actually not installed so I had deleted it for the video uh, we're going to change it to Gruffbox orange light 
So whenever we change to dark mode or light mode, uh, it will change to Gruffbox Orange Light. And again, when we go to dark mode, it will use the proper theme. We can also toggle it from here to check it. So let us do it. As you can see, it does the proper styling. Okay, head over to the extensions tab and there is another stuff that is installed. I forgot to mention over there. That is the Frippery Move Clock. Again, just search over in the store. So search for it. Here we have it and just install. Again, I'm going to just uninstall and install it for, for you. Uh, basically, what it is going to do is just move the clock from here to the right side. I removed the background, so it is kind of looking weird, but we still have work to do. So just hang on tight. I'm going to keep Evolve right over here so we can refresh it quickly by disabling and enabling the user themes to check the changes that appear over here in real time. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is just add a color to the background not the entire background but the panel button background we're going to use the same background color from here and just paste it over here maybe change this to 0 0.9 and we're going to continue to copy it and place it even inside the clock button display disable and enable as you can see it shows up properly over there uh, i guess we copied it to the wrong place this is the right one save it yeah great now we also need to add some padding because it looks weird without that so padding maybe let's go for 12 pixels and see what it looks like i don't remember if it is padding on margin so let us find out oh it's definitely margin not padding padding is for the inner side let's go for margin disable enable looks much better okay next are these hover changes so we need to fix that too. Basically, we are going to copy again the background color and we are going to change this. Let us remove the box shadow and change the background color from transparent from transparent to this one. Let's also change the opacity to maybe 0.6 so it looks better. Again, disable and enable it back. As you can see, it looks much better right now. But on tap, it again changes back to the weird looking button so we also need to change that so let us change the active parameter save again and it is fixed and we also need to do the same thing for the clock okay not this one where did it go oh this one yeah paste 0 0.7 save it okay so we need to hard code the box shadow to none in order to make that effect so just enable this as you can see now it is no more weird great now on tap is again weird so we need to fix that uh, just copy these from here and panel button active i guess this one yeah fixed so that is all for the top bar now it looks way better than the previous one next what we need to do is uh, you can also install rounded window corners reborn so basically it is going to add a consistent rounded window corner to every app if you remove that as you can see it looks a bit weird in evolve because gtk3 apps do not really have proper rounded corners in the bottom part and flutter unfortunately still uses gtk3 window decoration which is the main reason for the problem so just turn it back on okay uh, now that is it is done we need to install a certain font that is the clash display variable font from here just search for from firefox just search for clash display variable and as you can see we have it in font share just download it from here and install it on your system double click to open and install it uh, this is not a, a google font if it was a google font you could have installed it directly from evolve there is also a dedicated font store for that so for example we have montserrat uh, you can search for that and it appears and you can install it from here JetBrains, Mono and more. Now let us also install Conkey. For that we need to install the Conkey package first. So just type in sudo dnf install Conkey. Make sure to run update before that. I already have it installed so it is not really going to install anything over here but I'm just showing it for the sake of this video. As you can see it is already installed. Now we are going to run a very simple Conkey. I have it right now placed in the AT folder inside uid here we have conkey1.conf basically it is just displaying the date i mean the the day because i thought see the day doesn't appear over here the time does so it is a bit redundant to show the time again but i still included that but the day doesn't show up over here so uh, by default so maybe the day appearing in this blank space would be much more useful so that is there and we also have the time and running this is very simple just open in console and just run conkey now gtk3 apps sorry four apps take some time to apply the entirety of the theme so you need to log out and log back in in order to apply it properly 
which is probably the reason why you can see that this is not properly applied yet the gtk4 theme but if you open the settings page oh did we apply the theme i think we forgot to apply that okay gtk4 set it we forgot to apply the gtk4 theme so make sure to apply it from here and it should solve the problem con key config equals dot slash con key one dot conf there you go now how to start this automatically from uh, whenever you log in that is you need to create a dot desktop file it is very simple so i'll just close this just again open evolve and head over to settings startup scripts let us remove this we have got multiple con keys so remove them click the plus button and add an at plus con key to auto start if you install it using the dedicated run.sh file included with the con key then you will get this option inside add an at plus con key and now you have the sand con key over here you can just click that and create dot desktop file and it will create the file for you if you uh, are installing it manually if you're just writing this down these two lines basically what you need for that and the basic settings for the con key then uh, you need to write this manually to uh, create a script and then basically the script will be containing this one let me also show you the script over here so this is start conkey.sh it basically cds into 80 slash uid 13 and then it starts the conkey from there and the desktop file also does the same thing basically runs this particular script on startup so that is all for today thank you so much for watching this was a very basic customization video actually a customization video after a long long time so again thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one